Tiger. Hi Donald. Good morning. Good morning man, how's things? Good, 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 good. good. Uh, yeah, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Edgar is uh, my friend. Uh, he's also a certified first aid instructor. So yep. we have him today to share with us, uh, to give us some tips and advice uh, for hikers like us. Edgar. Okay. Um, okay, before I go on and talk and all that, uh, I would say that the most important thing, right, um, is that we want to prevent uh, accidents from happening so that, um, as the old saying goes, right, prevention is better than cure. Yeah. yeah. And also, having said that, right, it's good to have um, first aid skills. Yeah. yeah, because it's an important life skill that everybody um, should have. And it's also a skill that we hope not to use it. Yeah, but if need be, then um, it's always good to have that skill at hand with us uh, and the proper uh, knowledge to go along with it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So for hikers, uh, in Singapore's context, yep. uh, there are you know, some common injuries. Okay. Like for example, you know, spraining uh, uh, your your ankles, yes, or you sprains. might fall. You know, you know, dislocate your arms, fractures, and yeah. all those. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know, blisters. Uh, those are the common problems that we hikers might face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. So you want to share with us uh, what? Are, you know, give us some tips. You know, how to prevent and how to treat. Okay, um, when we are talking about uh, st stuff like that, right? Uh, fractures, dislocation, all that. Um, let's de debunk some myths along the way. Mm -hmm. For example, you might have seen in movies where the macho guy, right, um, pops or sets the dislocated arm back into place and all that, right? Um, I know of friends who do that and all that, but if, for example, right, let's say it's something fresh, you don't know. Um, how your bone is inside the body because it's covered up by your uh, flesh and all that. So that's not a good idea. Yeah. So what you should do is to seek uh, proper medical attention and while waiting for um, paramedics to arrive or for you to reach the hospital, immobilize um, that body part so that it will prevent further uh, injuries and all that and um, what you can do is at hand perhaps you have a first aid kit with triangular bandages and all that right to help you improvise slings or um, immobilization techniques uh, so to speak so that um, you do not injure yourself further while waiting for medical help as I mentioned earlier uh, and also um, the prevention part, like walking carefully, um, looking at your being aware of your surrounding and not using your phone while on the trail and all that, yeah. right? Yeah, that helps a lot more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also with the proper knowledge, uh, we can manage uh, whatever injuries that unfortunately happen, right? Better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also um, maybe you can think of any um, things that you have heard of before you know like what to do that we can um, well debunk or maybe yeah find out with this. Um, yeah I mean I think what you say is uh, uh, making a lot of sense okay. you know I think many of us you know when, when we walk we look at the handphone you know yeah yeah so you know, please, you know, when you hike, enjoy the nature, yeah. right? And uh, put your phone aside. Definitely. Yeah. Especially um, where there are a lot of um, protruding roots and all those, right? We want to be um, mindful of all this. So, prevention is better than cure. Yeah. But accidents happen. Yeah. So, having the proper knowledge will definitely go a long way. Yeah. Um, and having said that, right, I would actually strongly advise, right, um, for people to take up um, standard first aid courses, okay, not to give um, instructors jobs alone, uh, but um, to have that knowledge 
so that not only can we help ourselves, we can help, we can help uh, other people yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. and um, we know what to do and what not to do. Uh, yeah, it is a very important thing to do. So, like for example, if along the trail you fall, you um, have a fracture or what, with the proper um, bandages and all that, right? You can actually make a sling, immobilize it, so that you can um, get to medical help in a safe manner also. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think one of the common uh, problems that hikers will face is the, you know, concerning food. Okay, yeah. Alright, blisters. Yes. Okay, so uh, it's good to have knowledge of uh, prevention. Yep, correct. Right? That's true. Uh, you know, what I know is, you know, proper uh, footwear and also your socks. Yes. Yeah, right. And uh, not too tight or too loose, right? Because otherwise it'll be friction. Yep. And also socks, right? The choice of socks. But my, my choice, my personal choice is uh, non-cotton. It's okay. wool, right? Wool. And uh, because in this climate, you know, it's uh, humid and hot, you know, we tend to sweat. So when you, when just friction and then the plus your sweat, you know, that's the conditions for, for blisters. Right, this is my personal personal um, uh, experience. Right, so for hikers, um, for general hikers, whether you are a new hikers or advanced hikers, what do you think they should be, you know, having in their backpack or the first aid kit? Okay. Um. Well, as first aid kits go, right, is um personal preference. Okay. Um. What I would advise is right. Try not to buy off the shop. Pre uh, prepared first aid kits. The reason being that not all first aid kits, right, will accommodate your needs and um, may not have the items that you would need or may have items that you don't need. Yeah, so it's always good to uh, build your own first aid kit. Um, That's a very big one, no? <laughs> okay, it is. Um, yeah, I would admit yeah. that it's uh, a bit big, yeah. but for a family, right? Like, for your yeah. Friends, uh, normally, or, I yeah. go hiking. I don't go alone. Mm. Uh, probably there's like two, three, or four. Um, currently, we are kept at five people. Mm. So, um, I build it for um, usage for outdoors. Mm. Yeah. So, it's still in progress. So okay. there are certain items that I would like to have inside which um, I've yet to purchase and all that. Okay. Maybe yeah. you can share with us what you have. Okay, sure. Okay. Right here in this um, small little pouch, I have uh, latex gloves. Gloves? Yeah. The latex gloves, I'm, um, I prepared it in case I'm dealing with a uh, open wound where there's bleeding so you know out in the trail our hands will probably get dirty and um, no matter how much we can clean it and all that while dealing with an open wound where there's blood right we want to be um, wise so wearing gloves uh, would be a safer thing to do and um, over here in this pouch I have a um, roller bandage and triangular bandages um, and over here I have a reputation mm -hmm. yeah along with assortment of uh, different kinds of plasters I'm not recommending um, the brand or anything here and because I hike frequently with my kids and other kids very cute, so cute plus I have yeah. okay you can't see it from here uh, but cartoon uh, characters uh, yeah so in a sense it will help the child also um, if they get a card they will definitely be crying so we want to um, try to cheer them up give them a plaster that has um, some cartoon characters yeah it's nothing special it's just yeah. a normal plaster I don't mind that yeah. too <laughs> yeah, yeah. And here I have um, scissors. Okay, 
this scissors is useful in the sense that um, there's a rubber tip here. Yeah. So it's safer to use, especially when you are uh, cutting. cutting clothing away. Yeah. And a pair of tweezers. You know, sometimes um, we fall, then there's a cut and some uh, small little splinters might get into the wound or all that, right? So having a tweezers, right, will help us to extract it. Uh, yeah, because our fingers may not be that nimble enough. Okay. Yeah. So for now, this is my uh, first aid kit. And if I'm not wrong, you prepared something um, to show the viewers too, right? Yeah. Um, not not every hiker is like you, you know, so well prepared, you know. Some uh, just started to go out hiking, yeah, hiking, you know, they might not be uh, fully prepared, yet. Fully prepared yeah. you know, they don't know what to get and uh, also like me can be lazy, you know, right? <laughs> So, uh, but that should not be an excuse. Uh, yep. Actually, that day I came across uh, um, Daiso. Daiso is not a brand. We are not promoting Daiso. Yep. I just saw this. It's only two dollars. First aid kit with a nice packaging, right? And yeah, this yeah. is very lightweight, right? Very lightweight, and then uh, we just throw in the backpack, okay, for your hiking. Or and, even uh, attach it to the back. Yeah, you can put a clip here, and uh, it's very lightweight and kind of like you know water resistance. Right. Let, let's see what's inside here, yeah, sure. and uh, definitely will not be as uh, comprehensive as, as yours. Okay. Wow. So we have some uh, pluses, yeah. small and uh, the bigger one. Right. Oh, that's so cool. yeah, plaster is very useful. You know, it's a simple cut. You can just um, you know. Yeah, especially um, this right yeah. where it's um, big enough for you know sometimes we fall, we might um, have. Abrasions, yeah. such on the elbow and the knees. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And these uh, towel wet wipes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. To clean uh, away yeah. any um, dirt. Al yeah. Uh, this is alcohol. Okay. Wipe and uh, this gauze. And the tip here. Yeah. Sterilized gauze. Ah, okay. So that's about it. There's no scissors, no nothing. Yeah, yeah. All. yeah. But for two dollars, you get. Uh, yeah, two dollar. Something that's sterilized. Two dollar. Yeah, yeah, With this nice, nice uh, packaging. Yeah. Yeah. So no, no excuse not to have this inside your, you know, the day pack. Yeah, from right? day to day usage. Um, for simple um. Treatment. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. It's very good. Yeah. But um, I would also venture to say right that, mm. one should I mean um. Build your own. Yeah. Customize one right, right, right to fit your needs. needs uh, yeah. yeah, you don't yeah. have to bring a whole triage out there. Sure. But something that's adequate until um, we have um, me proper medical um, help assistance. Yeah, yeah. After all, um, this video is about the local context here, yeah. where we are not that far away from civilization, sure. so to speak, right? Yeah. And um, the emergency yeah. services in Singapore are quite fast so having a simple kit right would do very well sure. however right I would say that having um, standard first aid knowledge would be very useful seeing that you know when we go hiking it could be along the trails and all that right and um, not very uh, accessible to let's say ambulances so the paramedics may need to push the um, what do you call that the um, stretcher, stretcher or so yeah. yeah for a certain distance yeah so having that uh, first in knowledge right can help to the casualty and um, in cases of let's say um, and all that right we can um, actually give the casualty a fighting chance to survive sure. until um, proper professional um, medical help is there sure. yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so, so you need to, to be fit enough to carry the, your friends out of the woods uh. <laughs> this is the, <laughs> to build a stretcher okay, fireman um, leave you know that's beyond the you know the scope of this video. Yeah, think, yeah, yeah, right? definitely, so, definitely, yeah. yeah so yeah. this is for our general 
hikers, you know, what yeah, they something should prepare themselves. Basic, yeah, uh, yeah okay. something basic. Yeah. Uh, after all, we can get all, all this stuff from the pharmacy and um, some other departmental shops. Uh. Right, yeah. right. Okay, what about those uh, uh, ointment, cream, you know, cards? Do you mm-hmm. recommend that to be in the first aid kit? Okay, um, for first aid point of view, right, we don't um, use medication on other people. Okay. Yourself, what about yourself? Okay, for the yourself, wood, uh, right, cut, yeah. yeah, you can um, put in your first aid kit um, ointments and all that, as long as you know that you don't get an allergic reaction from it. Yeah, for your personal consumption, it is fine as long as you know that you have no allergic reactions to it. Uh. Okay. Yeah, because that's the uh, main concern of it. Uh. Okay, what about uh, any salt tablet? Do you recommend that to be inside there? Sorry? A uh, 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 salt tablet. Okay, that's uh, really personal. Personal, yeah. right? Personal. So, I mean, it's hot yeah. weather, you hide, you know, dehydrated. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's all personal. It's right? all personal, yeah. yeah. So, that means, uh, um, so bottom line is some basic plasters, you know, uh, bandages. bandages yeah. You know, it should be uh, sufficient for general hiking in Singapore's yeah, context. It's, yeah, it's but, more than enough. Yeah, yeah, but if you hide in the Swedish mountain, that will be a different story. Yeah, yeah, that will definitely <laughs> in be. In cold weather, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've that, never that, been there. Yeah. So there be a disclaimer, uh, just in case. Yeah, you yeah. Know, um, okay. Yeah. What so we are doing here um, is just to give a bit of awareness. Um, it is not a first aid lesson, but just to share some tips here tips, and there yeah. and to debunk um, some myths along the way, la. Okay. What about um, uh, plaster or bandage that uh, blisters? Okay. Um, for blisters, right, I'm sure you have heard of people who tell you that just take a needle and thread, run it through the blister and drain out the fluid, right? Mm-hmm. I would say don't do that. Yeah, because a blister is formed um, to protect our feet, uh, that particular part. Uh, it's a defense mechanism and it's also a alarm to us. Uh. So what I would suggest is to leave it there rest and um, if need be right maybe cut short the hike yeah um, then some people actually um, use uh, blisters uh, plasters if I'm not wrong yeah so it all depends down to the personal preference but um, I would advise against um, draining the fluid yeah Yeah. okay sure thanks all right Uh, thank you so much uh, Edgar for uh, share Thank with uh, my viewers uh, some tips. Uh, we hope to uh, see you out there. Yep. And uh, do leave your comments below and uh, any ideas or what you, you want to include uh, in your first aid kit. Um, please feel free to comment. And uh, we'll see you out there. Yeah, hike safely.